What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we are being intercepted before the city of Goa by this pretty ragtag army of Mughal troops. So without further ado, let us destroy them. It's pretty important that we do destroy them, uh, because it means we can continue our drive northward into Indian Territory. And to be honest, I think I ought to be recruiting a lot more men from behind the lines than I'm currently doing so. Because right now, economic constraints don't really exist for us Louisianans. Uh, however, however, we do really need to make sure that we are taking advantage of those gains. Those are howitzers, don't want those. So much artillery. Actually, no, don't want my howitzers in there. Three units of infantry. One thing I was aware of is that they did have a unit. There was a unit, but there was an army behind us, so we might be about to get surrounded. So my howitzers can just deploy as normal because they can fire 360 degrees with safety. So then in reinforce or in, in reserve, we've got these three infantry units, two in two artillery batteries, some skirmishes. Okay. So they're over to the left. So this field artillery set up in position. Deploy my men. That's my skirmishes. Come on. I think we need a new mouse. push this line out further. We're going to get hit by some war elephants. It's these howitzers that are firing realistically need to engage the men to their front. Stretch you guys out a bit more. These men coming in aren't a major concern. Here come their horsemen. Can't shot. Oh, the elephants are coming in. Fire by rank should see them off. There they go. Charge my heavy cavalry in against the camels, because heavy cavalry is capable of dealing with camels. You men start intercepting or engaging the infantry mass coming towards you. Also, our camels have also been engaged from our line. So that means they'll get, kind of get a double blow from the morale. They'll, they'll have the cavalry charge, but they'll also be being shot in the rear. Yeah, that's a lot of camels dying in very quick succession. They're shattered, so let's get my cavalry back out of the way. My camels are about to be in position. Uh, let's get this guard de corps engaged to go hit the levee so I can start to curl my infantry flank around. OK, 
Okay, let's chase down the war elephants just to make sure they don't come back. You guys hit the levee. Okay, you don't really need to curve in because you're already engaging the appropriate units. So yeah, so my cavalry can deal with these elephants very well because they're they are routing, so they take a lot of damage, and my cavalry is already quick enough. Guard to caution, do loads of damage to them. Lay out those bowmen. Come on, take out the war elephant. Good. So the, the AI is unhappy that I have got cavalry behind their lines. The Guard de Corps should just cut through this levee pretty well. Let's push up our infantry line from the left. Charge their dervishes with my cavalry. Is that is that my swordsman have come around the flank? I don't want my cavalry to be in combat for too long. Okay, this artillery begin round shotting General's bodyguard. Curiosity has a winning decisively, but gotta remember they do have a a limit. I feel artillery is adequate to deal with the general's body. Let's begin getting one of the howitzers to start firing on this mass of troops heading our way. Switch our guns to round shot and get them just to start engaging. Swordsmen should be yeah. They should be concerned. Keep the dervishes busy while I run my run this infantry around behind the Islamic swordsmen to try and hit them in the rear. You guys need to push up and destroy this infantry unit rapidly. The guard de corps is still winning decisively, but they are being tied up by the levy. Uh oh, well, this is not good. Cassiers hit the bowmen. Coming a bit of a mass brawl over here. Let's get my general over here to keep them happy. And get my get my cavalry over here. Come on. You men charge into the flank of the levy. You guys keep engaging this unit of bowmen. You guys keep running. You guys push around. Get this cavalry back rapidly. This cavalry can start engaging the infantry from the left flank. You men charge into the back of the bowmen. I mean, the general, I don't like the fact that the general's bodyguard's in there, but I can't really do anything about it. Bar hopefully cause a crisis of confidence 
in their command. And cause hope to cause a chain route. Levy, uh, this levy are upset. My colonial line isn't doing brilliantly. To charge my general in. Risky manoeuvre, but it might be what pushes them over the edge, morale-wise. Charge my guard to core into their general's bodyguard. Bowmen are routes. My cavalry infantry are routing for some reason. Keep the uh, bayonet charge. Keep the attack going. Left to right. Charge into the bowmen. Swordsmen are upset. Yeah, I knew you'd come back. So pick our oh, howitzers to engage the bowmen. We go keep pushing. The general's bodyguard is in here still somewhere, isn't he? No, he oh, he's. Well, the general's dead. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of the maelstrom. And my general's bodyguard. Get my infantry out. You men chase them down. Well, these are too fangy, they're not Muslim. God damn. This could have been so nearly it. Okay, you might go after one of those units, because everyone else, I think, has got their own choice of target. So you guys can all push in and engage this last unit of bowmen. Artillery. Focus the bowmen, because I'm going to avoid them with my cavalry, or attempt to. Okay, General's bodyguard, go and set those dervishes. Nope. Curassiers, I don't want you to get involved with those bowmen. You chase down those swordsmen and push our infantry up. You guys stop firing. You guys keep killing them. Yeah, they've been routed and they've been routed. You guys after the bowmen. Damn right, we're going to continue. Slice and dice. Good stuff. Artillery. Disengage. Generals after these is Islamic swordsmen. I know my cuirassiers are after the Islamic swordsmen, pardon me. The general's going to help them out, but they are very close to the edge of the map, so I don't know how well they're going to do. Not enough. And that is a close victory. They could have easily have... Well, I think they could well easily have rolled us back. So it's that army to the rear of us that caused the problem. Yeah, you guys. And the moguls are bringing up more troops. So my advance has been blunted more men are coming up 
we just need to keep keep recruiting fresh troops. We just can't stop. Ooh, our first Catholic missionary. You can stay where you are. Although you are going to be broken. Colombo has been blockaded. Ooh, where is... Yes. Okay, let's get you boys into the fight. After you were so, so lucky to avoid being destroyed, it seemed. You almost lost Theodore, our greatest general. Ready and waiting. Get him into Barcalore. Disembark the army. Just demand the su demand the surrender. So we've technically won the campaign as Louisiana, but we are going to continue. Okay, I don't know quite why it was wanted us to attack again. You guys replenish and stay behind the city of Goa. You also want to rebuild the commercial basin. And this army back here that was at, that was at full strength, you're going to come up here and hit Nizam Khan to just take them out. It will mean we are depleted. But the plan will be to just upgrade and merge infantry units together. Try and keep experience high. Then pull this unit out. I forgot, my sword doesn't like it. Well, my sword doesn't want us to go. Okay, let's exempt them from tax. And then my saw crew a bunch of company troops. You could try and hit Cornwall. That's quite a nice army there. Let's make sure all these guys up here are replenishing in the manner we want them to. And to be honest, Armand Villeneuve, you might push out and get ready to start to bring the war. They've started to really thin out their troops near Bengal, which means we need to push out. Construction report. Let's keep... I, mean, I know economic upgrades aren't really necessary now because we've got more money than we can shake a stick at, but... We are still at war with Sweden. Oh yes, we've landed near Norway. Okay, let's go to the city, demand surrender. Let's go replenish and you can try and build a fort. We do have troops nearby, but now we've taken Norway, it's tempting to actually go. Okay, Sweden. Let's peace out and let's make some money. Okay, what about just peace? Fair enough. Let's destroy the chapped school, start to expand Catholicism. Upgrade the logging camp, upgrade the mines. Let's not upgrade this one because that will they will likely uh, intercept and attack it. Let's build some better roads. Then once this built, once uh, this has been repaired, we're gonna start recruiting troops. Great, the gunnery school. We still upgrading our navy. We are good. Let's hop back to India. Probably want to take this army under Gaston Monsar. Actually, you. Ah, that's what we were doing. Ready and waiting for. Giving you howitzers. Then you can attack the fort. Then finally, southern India will be under our control. And we don't have to worry about uh, hostile elements behind the lines. And we can then begin to, or carry on, to push forward and conquer Mughal territory. So it's in these hour specials you, you can really get some progress going. Well, at least in theory. Garrison doesn't look overly strong, so I think I'm going to use my howitzers to create a second 
breach. Let's use my most elite troops to assault near the rear. Two companies, or two companies, battalions of infantry are going to hit each breach, supported by cavalry. Focusing my infantry rather than my artillery, and that will be their doom. But let's speed up time because it is. We are just shelling each other with artillery now. Nothing clever, no strategy. We're just trying to make our way in. And this army is actually, apart from the core of experienced colonial line from the Americas. They're quite a uh, quite a low quality army. Not no not low quality, low experience. That's the wrong he's using the wrong word. So yeah lots of these units are, are quite badly depleted. I'm still likely going to Put some, uh, put some quick climb shells onto them because who wants to attack a full strength unit, especially when you've got quick climbing howitzers like this? I think we've managed to kill one of our gunners. Good, we've made our way in over here. Also made their way in over here. Or they will have done. No, not quick climb. Carcass shot. Begin carcass shotting. So these men can march up and secure this gate. The sepoys can march up and secure this gate. Yeah, the mortars see what's up. They're deciding to walk out of the city. That's how much they don't like it. Well, let's put infantry unit here. Actually, I might put... If you're going to climb up it, I might deploy two units here. The second one fire it will off. New men try to secure the gates. And then this unit under the 40th will run around to this entrance here. Okay, assault the bowmen <laughs> if they're going to charge out. are going to come out to play as well. You don't really have a job, so just run you in. I'm pretty sure you were meant to scale the wall here. For whatever reason, your order didn't go through. The mortars are firing, but they're too close. They're much too close. <laughs> they don't want to come out anymore. Okay, this unit, you can engage those Hindi musketeers on the wall. Yeah, they are coming out. So these men can charge the mortars. These guys are going to take the wall and capture the gate. Doing some good work at the breaches. Oh, 
Now they're going to charge this one guy because he's off the wall. Seamen wait in good order. They've not had much damage done to them with canister, quick with a canister shot. Uh, Carcass shot. You guys run along, capture the walls. We've captured one gatehouse, so you can no longer charge out of it. You, you want? They're now going to try and run out of here, but we've now captured this one. These men are charging in, into the walls to try and kill us. Oh, it's because we've captured the walls. Some of our units are going to uh, spend their time to attack us. Well, some of our men, rather than climbing the walls, are now going to turn around and try and get through the gate. So it's lame that it does that. That's okay. These men continue to attack the lancers. You guys that have stormed in engage the levy. Artillery can still soften up the enemy. Although, to be honest, I could probably run some sepoys in, or some infantry to tag them, to tag the infantry while my cavalry runs around, getting up to all sorts of shenanigans. You also hit those lancers. You guys can try and hit the levy to help support this one unit that's being swamped. Okay, let's put both our artillery firing on the other breach. Especially if our if our cavalry are just gonna run past. Oh, it's the unit that was being attacked by lancers, although there's probably... Yeah, the great, the great gun is in play. The general's bodyguard is also firing. Curassiers can hold up. Oh, that was a good, good shot by them. Understandably, our Curassiers are wavering. You guys just get off the walls. These guys won't actually fire because they're they're still men on the walls. This Crassier unit coming through the other breach. Could charge them in, but I don't want to charge against the, uh, the, the elephants. Although I think I might have to, to support my cavalry. So my cavalry should be, well, I suppose these are armoured cavalry. You mentioned break through the levy pretty rapidly. Let's get curious the airs in. We should start to do some damage against the jungle bodyguard, surely. I mean, my favourite thing to do is always to try and engage them with musketry. But to be honest, with all the units getting snaggled up on these walls and stuff, I don't think it's going to happen. I'll position these guys to get ready. If they get the option, I can try and pull everyone out. But actually, it looks like we are going to make them... We are killing elephants, but... It's 
costing us a lot of men. Fortunately, these guys still haven't decided to abandon this breach. Some of them are actually coming out. There we go, the general's been killed. I don't quite know where you're going, but you can just go charge the Hindu musketeers. Because they're wavering. Although it looks like they just want to come back in and attack the, uh, the elephants. So, fair enough. You guys get into the centre to help secure the uh, start of the timer. You guys run over here. Start to engage these guys from within the fort. Okay, these cavalry are doing a lot of damage. They too are now wavering. There's one elephant left, so our cuirassiers can afford to go and hit those, this unit of Tuman. Starting to leave the fort and be engaged by units outside the breach. There we go. Now these lancers have proper European heavy cavalry. Suddenly, they're wavering. As you should be. You are only lancers. Boys, these are your these are your kin. But they will not survive. They will not be as they will not be as well off under a Louisiana Empire government. And the garrison has fallen. Good stuff. So this wasn't a city, it was just a fort behind our lines. But at least they've been destroyed, which means we've now freed up another army. We lost nearly a thousand men in that engagement, but let's repair the fort. Let's replenish our men and push up. Because we've still got an enemy imam down here. Ah, uh, yes, our missionary. What do we do with you? Maybe walk you up to the border. I can go no further. Yeah, let's let these guys replenish a bit. This unit won't get up to too much mischief. Garrison needs replenishing and pr also an additional Ready infantry for unit. Any further orders? Good. Yes, Done all our construction. So Colombo was blockaded, but whatever. I could just send Patrice Lenoir. Just go take him out. We are victorious. We captured one of their first rates. Officer on deck. Good. Let's get our fleet do that. back to port. Ship's orders. Then let's take. Let's do some swapsies. Still ship shake. Ceylon's infantry oh. can embark. So. And we can ship them to Pondicherry. There we go. It's our own little uh, relief column. Good stuff. In fact, you guys might march over to Mysore just to keep them in line. They're repairing. Goa doesn't have any. I might build walls just because why the hell not? They may attempt to attack us. That's okay, to go as ours. Norway was captured, but we might need to keep an eye on Norway. I suppose that's why we have you. Let's march you over to Greenwich. Embark ships. Embark the fleet. Embark the army, sorry. 
can deposit this force off their coast and then begin to try and push against Stockholm if they will not. If they do not want to entertain the idea of peace. Then let's recruit some... Another force. Again, built with horse guard artillery, as befits an army being recruited in London. Awesome. And just one second, guys, I need to have a quick uh, pit stop for myself. Just a second. And I'm back. Right. Just building, another, building up another force in England to help fight against the Swedes. You are recruiting men. You could probably do with some howitzers and some foot artillery. I might just deploy you straight onto the bridge, just in case they fancy getting up to some mischief. So you've got a couple of sloops. It's because these guys, we do have these two forces in the continental United States. Can you get there in one turn? Yeah. Embark them aboard ship. I suppose we don't need two, two. <laughs> we don't need two stacks to come and do this. Sail them up to Agvitok. See, I might want both of them actually. <laughs> do not want to take chances with the native factions. So let's punt these militia out. Embark. We got a lot of elite troops and it's probably going to be a couple of fights and yeah, I just really don't like taking chances against the Native American factions because when it goes wrong, it yes, goes badly wrong. My Lord. So in terms of the Inuit, because they're a protector of Dagestan, I don't care if we go to war with Dagestan. Declare war! Not that I have allies. These men combine and sail to Newfoundland to hold position. Let's upgrade the dry dock. Well, I want to upgrade you to a steam dry dock. Two turns till we get quick climb. Good stuff. Okay. So over in India, I think. See, I could launch an attack there, but I want to kind of see where these guys go. If they stay there, then we'll attack them next turn. You could probably go and engage Ram Abdullah, especially as we've now got troops behind the lines to protect yourself, protect you now. I might launch an attack on Kamul to try and open the way to Hyderabad. So they're at full strength. Actually, I want... Oh, no, I'm not going to be attacking from the right direction. I would be attacking from the north, and then they'd probably retreat over here, which isn't what I want. I don't want to attack Hyderabad, because then we'll have a weird two-front battle coming up. So we get Didi or Weber. Let's go hit Ram Abdullah. Let's make the push towards Bengal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we want to take advantage of our firepower. Let's deploy four units between our gunners, although that's not. Hmm. I want to put more units between the guns to stretch them out long enough so I can get my artillery up on this bit of ground here. Although they may stay limbered up to try and push up to here. It does mean my artillery is a bit vulnerable on the flanks. Let's 
doable. Especially if they're going to hunker down and stay towards the rear. Let's commit my cavalry to go after these horsemen. Oh, I've, again, I forgot. Once again, I forgot my howitzers. No matter, I can march them up to the front. So you guys are going to fire volleys into the horsemen. Turn off fire at will. So you men push up like so. Yeah, we're gonna we, we're gonna win that combat. We're only okay. You guys also need to stop firing. Let's walk them into position, so my cavalry has a chance to beat these Zemindari horsemen. I don't want them to have a free lunch and get into position like they are doing and shooting my cav shooting my artillery. They should be engaging my cavalry. So I might even So this artillery up here, are you engaging the targets I want you to engage? Hit that unit of the great gun. Again, they managed to get within range of my howitzers, so let's try it more like with my artillery. So we're likely going to lose some gunners, but fortunately we're all limbered up, so we should be okay. You guys dump into square. Okay, let's continue pushing on the right. You guys dump into square, fire at will. I know they're charging in. But right now I want to get my artillery in a good position. That's a great position to fire into the side of those Dakani lances. They look pretty good. But they are now broken. Okay, you stay in formation. Yeah, because those Zimandari horsemen are coming in. You guys need to run. I wonder if those routing units running through my artillery is going to cause them to lose their horsemen. You guys fire carcass shot onto battlefield targets. The dervishes are going to be pushed back. Where's my other guns over here. You guys are nimber. Push this cavalry up to fill the gap. You guys should now all be firing at will. The common joke where it's poor old Will. What's he done to anyone? These gunners might go after General's bodyguard. Okay, my cavalry is going to go around the rear to try and intercept and destroy the great gun because they are spooky. Knocked out a good selection of elephants there. You 
guys run straight in. Yeah, just run straight in now. My infantry's not firing. You guys jump into square. Now you guys did get caught by the lancers. Let's pick our infantry up. Let's run them to the top of this ridge. You guys hit the great gun, which means you guys can engage different targets. Pick new targets for our howitzers. Yep, there we go. It's the the great gunners taken down. You guys get back into square. Just hit this unit of guns if we can't get in range properly. These gunners might actually engage the horsemen because they're now attacking my light horse. You guys get out of square. Some of these guys aren't even firing. Fill in the gap. You're doing good work against the horsemen if they rout, which I very much hope they do. I would rather send my cavalry to go intercept some of these uh, these routing troops. So that's probably what you're going to do, actually. Go hit this great gunner. Bring my general into the mix. Bring this regiment étranger to go help protect my light cavalry. Stop firing on all fronts. There we go. Okay, now I'll go after the musketeers. Just run my general straight in. There's no risk of fratricide. The horsemen are sticking it out. Charging men in. Pretty sure that's all my cavalry committed. Well, see, all my cavalry. A mighty two units. Horsemen are wavering, but I don't care. The gunners have joined in. They're who I'm after. To be honest, these men can just walk back into formation. Damn right, we're going to continue. Let's get some good kills. Now you go after that unit, the 20th. Good stuff. Can you go after that unit there? You men, can you kill this unit? That'd be great if you could. Good. And also go up there, because these men will either be killed or escape very quickly. Likely to escape because there's a big cluster there running to the border. And they're all dead. Hey, these men have decided to not run to the border. How odd. Oh, come on. <laughs> Still, it's a good win. Let's push them back to Bengal, which is exactly what we want to see. That's 2,000 men. Or well, Nagpur, Berar, sorry, not Bengal. You men replenish and continue to advance. Just go straight for the town. You don't really need to replenish, but you can't really go anywhere. Port's been located. I remember the missionary. We've already got him. I want these guys to replenish to engage this force here at Kamul to push them north of the river. I think that's everything for this turn. So let's hit end turn. B 
yeah, it's in these hour specials I can afford to just knock out battle after battle after battle after battle and make some real progress. Should probably raid Calais, it's right there, and protect it. Ooh, okay, no, don't defend that. Fall back. <laughs> if I had a fully fully armed uh, brigade, then maybe, maybe I would have defended that bridge. But with just infantry, just line infantry, no artillery, no, that wasn't going to happen. I'm quite happy with how this campaign has been going. Ooh, that force is re... Ooh, okay, they might... Looks like they might be organising... Ooh, do I want to intercept them near Bengal? No, I've done enough Bengal fights. Although I suppose I have to now, otherwise they'll just raid our port. <laughs> oh no, but it's not a really good army to do it. No, let them raid the port. I've had enough... Uh, Sieges near Bengal, I'd rather just destroy them on the field now. Uh, opportunity to intercept, yes. Glorious victory. Lost more men than we need, but I'd just like to get rid of the the wandering stack. But yeah, sieges defending sieges can be quite a long process and it would definitely suck up the rest of this part, whereas a battle on the field would likely be quicker and more decisive. Rake in Trinidad and Tobago. Lots of raids near our forces here. That's okay. First of all, let's go back up to here. Push these armies in to threaten them somewhat. You actually need three units of Probably infantry. There we go. We can now tax. We can now tax uh, Mysore. Upgrade the global trading company. You guys keep replenishing. You guys hunker down, holding the crossing. You guys hunker down and replenish. So you're not in good Make shape. Ready. You're pretty much in good shape. So and if you advance here and then go. attack Calcutta, this will be a more decisive battle than a siege. So I definitely, I definitely could have intercepted, but sieges tend to be significantly more drawn out, and they are they're good if you've not got a bunch of troops nearby that you can use to crush them uh, at <laughs> whenever you want. Okay, so I might deploy my artillery back. I'm getting a mega power to unit and I don't quite understand why. So I'm going to I'm deploying ready for a general advance, although there's one unit here I definitely shouldn't have picked. You can stay back here, fire it off. All my cavalry on the right flank. Let's march up and get him. Although it looks like there are shenanigans at play when it comes to deployment. Especially with the likes of these native lancers. Probably something 
something like that. So all of our artillery is going to be hitting their mortars and their full artillery. To be honest, let's get my infantry to run. Carcass shot's doing a good job. Let's make sure we've got... I mean, it's only a unit of levy out on the left, so it's not really critical I deploy troops to meet them because they're pretty packed. You guys form up. I think they. Zemadari horsemen are charging. Nope, but I'm charging them, that's for darn sure. So they're routing, but it's not permanent, so get my cavalry behind the lines immediately, ready for the musket battle that's about to give way. You men form up there, you men try run around the left. Seek Musketeers, keep my cavalry out of the way of the Seek Musketeers to prevent them from getting easy hits. Let's get our quick climbing howitzers on target. These dervishes are going to be... Oh, they ran through the middle. Okay, these guys are going to be deployed to go hit the dervishes in the rear, which means these men have to stretch up to cover the flank, especially as they have... Funky artillery shots, so let's make sure we hit those guns as a matter of priority. You guys smash into the back of the dervishes, cavalry push in, but don't worry about the specifics of that unit of dervishes. I mean, you were supposed to run around them, but too bad, you're going to run through them. You men hit the native lancers, the Sikh. The Sikhs are in the bound. Keep my cavalry running, because they are attracting the attention of the Gurkhas. isn't gr a great position for my cavalry. Let's peel them out of here. Let's try to hit the sea quarries in the rear. This unit's probably going to sacrifice itself, but it looks like it's doing a good job against the camel nomads. Keep attacking the native lancers just to make sure they shatter. Spread our cavalry around. One set of our guns to engage the general's bodyguard. Push up our flank like so. Let's get our quick climbers to focus on the Gurkhas. This guard to course saw off those camels. One of our artillery units is going to hit the general's bodyguard. Killed the general's bodyguard, that's pretty sweet. Okay, you men need to pour fire into those troops here. Keep my cavalry moving because the Gurkhas are trying to pin them. The levy have gone, it's just the dervishes left. Both our cavalry broke there. Oh no, their cavalry is about to run back towards the Gurkhas. No way. Get 
and my cavalry to focus on the to focus on the uh, the routing troops. These men should surround and destroy the dervishes before then turning on against the levy as well. So those two fix and pin the levy. This unit run around the flank. Focus fire on the dervishes. Bring my general to bear. You guys stop firing but get within range. Okay, the levy have broken again. Musketeers. Oh, there we go, they have routed. I think they're all dead, more or less. Let's just halt fire. We definitely want to hit the Gurkhas. Let's just run my general in to try to hit the Gurkhas as well. These guys are doing a number on these musketeers. There we go. Hey! This general's entering the field near some of the routing troops. Let's see if he can get any of them. These Gurkhas are going down. Gurkhas are gone. So there is still that mortar team, apparently. Even though some of the mortars are oh, <laughs> the ghost of mortars past. Let me actually see how long it actually takes for them to to actually kill kill them, because sometimes these there we go. Sometimes those those units can be a bit of a pain. There we go. So the force that we did not intercept near Bengal has been more comprehensively destroyed than if we intercepted them. So let's repair the port. Punish my men. Good stuff. Um, let's cancel these upgrades. So I can send these guys down to auto-resolve the final destruction. And then this army can march back to the fort. Yes. Let's go do some upgrades. Upgrade the industry. And the reason why it's important is because then you can just upgrade your just build more troops to your heart's content and you're, not, and you're just not really concerned about money at all. I mean, we're already not concerned about money. But it could be better. But I think I want to take Michel de Choisiol. This is a guy, this is the army recruited in London. Send them to the west and then hit Diderik Eriksson. Uh, however, looking at the time, I think that's the end of this episode. So, Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for uh, the first battle against Swedish forces, the first true battle on Swedish forces, in continental Scandinavia, where we will push forward and take Stockholm, and then see if they will take peace. Radio, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>